Greetings from the nation's capital on a super Sunday of soccer. A doubleheader of Canadian Premier League action plus Canada versus the US for a place in the semi-finals of the Gold Cup. Nigel Reid in the booth alongside Will Cromack as we welcome you to TD Place where Atletico Ottawa are getting set to host Valor FC, Atletico Ottawa. Four changes to the team that tied Pacific last time out. Luke Singh into the back line, Noah Verhoeven and Carl Howarth into midfield. And the new signing, Swiss and a Spanish uh, citizen, Ruben Del Campo. Phil De Santos also makes four changes to the team, beaten at home by Cavalry last time out. Andrew Jean Baptiste makes his first start of the season in centre defence. Matteo de Brienne in his hometown at left back. Kian Williams on the right side of that front three. And Anthony Novak. Bacero managed to control it. Now, can he find the right service into the area? Played by Singh. Polisi might try one. It's always rising. Third time the Carroll's got down the side. I thought it was Romania in 1990. Gonna... That's right. Now Del Campo is onside here. Del Campo went for goal. He's a left-footed player. Okay. Just a couple of feet over the top for the first glimpse. Look at the run. Yeah, there's the threat right away. Hardly touched the ball in the box. Hits it well. Gets, just gets over it. Wasn't much of an angle. Yes, via six foot seven, Hugo Gutierrez. In it goes again. Goodness me. Well, it's there to be one. Maybe Jean Baptiste got something on it. Exactly what we were just talking about. I'd like to see someone attack it. And in comes the big man back into the squad. For the Hoover towards the near post. Yes, he came. Got more the height than distance on the punch. Eventually, away from him. And what's the referee given here? Has to try and beat Ryan Yesley. Statistically, the league's best goalkeeper. Bassett for Atletico Ottawa rolls it in the corner. Calls the big man. That's his sixth goal of the season as the fans celebrate. Atletico Ottawa are in front against Valor by Goldenhill. De Brienne sliced it, then gone back to rescue the situation temporarily. Del Campo, that's clever. Right footed this time, it's not his strongest foot. But the first touch was delightful. <laughs> What's it ever? Well, I'm not quite sure what De Brienne is doing here with the two footed lunge. Uh, through the legs, and then he's got that all wrong. Uh, much better from Atletico Ottawa. Howarth for Bassett and Del Campo. They won handball. Oh, my goodness me. Well, they were convinced it was a penalty. They all looked towards the referee. But Mr. Sassola kept his whistle out of his mouth. Polisi again from Campbell. Dubrien is wide. Dubrien first time into the area. Off the post from Neil Gabire. Ball still alive. And in the end, over the top. And once again, Egan wasn't needed because the woodwork saved him from Neon Gabire's Pianelli. Forward from the back. Looking for the straightforward ball. He was trying to find Ian Williams. Sapater is robbed. Gutierrez doesn't mind having a go as well. Neon Gabire is surely going to shoot, side netting, should have done better. Got a clear side of goal, the Australian, and knows he should have tested Ingham. Second, second cider. This one, even better than a header. He'll run all day. Lower. Against Neva. De Brienne left it for Williams. Needed the save, and the second time. Smart reaction from Nathan Ingham. Finally, a different delivery. Cut back. Williams does well. 
Bianelli. Only as far as Antinoro. And then Bassett on the charge. This looks dangerous. Oli Bassett, Salter to one side of him. Here is Sam Salter. Salter! Straight at Gasly. But nothing really threatening. More changes on the way for both teams. Bassett, lovely ball inside for Sacco. Sacco! Should have done so much better, and he knows it. He was in the line, only the goalkeeper to beat, but couldn't hit the target. Bassett brings it down beautifully. Howarth, Antinoro, looking for the three ball. Sacco around the back, should score, must score, doesn't score, my goodness me. And it was Andy Vaccaro with a goal-saving challenge just off the goal line. His body in the way, fairly in the opinion of the referee. Now Shaw, all on his own, Malcolm Shaw goes for goal. Needed to save from Yesley. Had to stretch that big play, but still in play. Sacco will find Bassett. Back to Sacco again. And Bassett's got a score, no. Yesley saves again. Bassett holds his heads. Goodness me. What have Atletico go on and got to do to finish this game? 5 4 should this be? <laughs> Maybe. Words. John Baptiste up top. There you go. Center back. Gonna try and pull a forge. Shaw. Sacco's in again. Sacco can't be scoring. A third time he's been denied. Bassett! Oh, it's the post. <laughs> Sacco should have a hat trick. Hollywood should have a hat trick. Bingo. Couldn't quite find Shaw. And now the Hoven, all alone, finishes it. Was he offside? He's put it in the back of the net. He's getting celebrations. He's hardly had a touch. I've seen him do that time and time again. He can give you that. Zach Verhoeven finally finishes it. Zach Verhoeven has his third goal of the season. He's for Atletico Ottawa. And the referee, Mr. Sosola, blows his whistle for the final time. Nathan Ingham and Carl Wimad Hub all smiles on the home bench. Atletico Ottawa are off the foot of the Canadian Premier League table after beating. Valor FC by two goals to nil.